Hello everyone, today we're going to be creating a flowchart in Canva. So this time I'm actually going to use the whiteboard feature because this is what we normally use to create diagrams and flowcharts, especially when it comes to brainstorming sessions and things like that. And apart from that, we can actually select an area that we want to download so it's easier to create a flowchart here. On the side panel, we can see some templates in case we want to use one. But today we're going to create our own, so let's do that. I'm going to go to the element section and type in an element that I want to use. So this time I want to create a circular diagram. And so I'm going to place a circle right here. I'm going to change the color. And I want to add something else to it to make it look interesting. I decided to go for this one. I'm going to change the color of it as well. All right. Now I'm going to add a text. I'm going to press T on my keyboard and a text box will automatically appear. Let's change the font. Let's change the color of the background again. Let's add another text box. And once again, change the font. And once again, I don't really think I'm happy with the background color, so I'm changing it up. And I'm just basically readjusting everything.
All right. Now we're going to add the other elements. And we're going to position them accordingly. Let's zoom out a bit to get a better view. And as you can see, I'm duplicating the element because we're going to be using a couple of them. Simply plus Ctrl plus C and then Ctrl plus V to copy and paste. So basically, I'm just positioning them and adjusting them. So now I'm labeling everything. So now I'm going to add an arrow There. And I'd like to add kind of like a line that connects each element to the main element. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just going to be making sure that everything's aligned. And there, all done. In order to download it, we are going to highlight everything, go to the share button above, click on download, and select whatever file type we like our flowchart to be saved as. And then click on download. And that should be it. Hope you found today's video of help.
Thanks so much for watching.